coming down the runway. Power's coming in. Let's go vertical VN. Give her a little pretty blue angel roll. Look That's that. what dreams are made of. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James alongside Patrick Crowsdale, who is one of the main instructors here at the CCRC, the Cobb County Radio Control Club. And we're here with the brand new Freewing F-18C model in obviously the most recognizable livery probably of all time in the Blue Angel scheme. Um, one that I know guys have been dying to see. Uh, we're so excited to get not only a Hornet out there, not a Super Hornet though, this you know, I guess you call it the Legacy, legacy series. Hornet, yeah. The Legacy plane. I know one of Patrick's, one that you were hoping would come yeah. and just got so lucky <laughs> to see it. So Cross my fingers. <laughs> give us a little history lesson on what makes the C uh, this awesome. So one of the big differences that you find is that uh, the Super Hornet is like the newest, latest, and greatest, and, and everybody loves the Super Hornet. It's a great jet. Yeah, of course. It's not with the blue angels fly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I know a lot of guys like to get the current models and paint it up in the blues. And I was always super excited to have true scale Blue Angel jet and this one does it and one of the easiest ways you can tell differences is the Super Hornets always have big square intakes yeah further up front. turn it around yeah. a little bit where the legacy models have a very nice rounded intake right yeah and then one of the more iconic shape differences is the wing root glove the wing root side. glove up here <laughs> up front right on the <laughs> Super Hornet is a very broad smooth uh, line gotcha. where here this has what you call like a coke bottle shape Gotcha, yeah. It's very nice. It's very sexy. And it's you can say, nice yes, shape, yeah. it is definitely sexy. We're talking right here. <laughs> yeah. It is a Coke bottle shape yeah. now that you mentioned. Now, I'll, now I'll never unsee that. <laughs> and it's, and it's a, the, the difference of the Super Hornet, too, is it's a bigger jet overall than the older Legacy model Hornets. Gotcha. Um, but I was just super excited because I like having that true scale, and this is what the Blues fly. They've been flying it since 1985, so a long time they've been flying this jet. Yep, and he's system <laughs> idle, yep, moving forward. But now, uh, talking a little bit about what's inside as far as the spec, guys. This is going to be running on 6S, and it's got the same power system that our F4 has. So for you guys familiar, I think it's a 37, 48, 17, 50 kV uh, brushes outrunner with a 90 millimeter, nine blade uh, fan inside. And then you've got, being that it's a 90 mil, you're going to get the upgraded struts. So we got trailing link on the front, and it is trailing link on the bottom, but it's got that cool cantilevered, uh, landing gear that is so iconic, I guess, with the F-18s. Yeah. They just, you know, they, they look a little awkward even in real life when you see them sitting there, yeah. but uh, really beautifully well done and tough to probably model. So I give Alpha and Freewing a ton of credit for yeah. being able to do that for guys. Um, you could expect to see some 3D parts, of course, uh, as we release. And now the one you're looking at, guys, was a pre-production model. So uh, yours will probably look even a little better. This might not even be the final finish of the paint when you guys see it. Uh, Alpha got this one out to me rather early. Uh, for the most part, most of the decals are going to be applied, like where they'd be the same on every jet. You would just put on maybe the numbers and the name, but don't quote me on that. It could be a little different by the time this video comes out. But you do have nice removable nose cone for you guys want to you know store your jets and uh travel can you get that yeah, back sure. in there i can't do it from that side but it's <laughs> magnetic and now let's show them uh well first let's take it around through the landing gear yeah, show ready? you that operation beautiful ready to go man yeah and it's it's not none of the uh gear doors are servo driven which yeah. obviously helps take out a lot of the weight. They're all mechanical, so they're yeah. just hitting, they're pushing on what would be little springs, just closing them, closing them tight, which is nice. What you yeah. said, a lot of models, when you're adding all that extra weight, uh, mm -hmm. you'll see when we fly this model, uh, the beauty, the difference in the power. I mean, it's yeah. a fast, it's a fast 90, which is nice, but also capable of some really awesome slow flight. Uh, flaps, you wanna give them a little, yeah. a little flap show. Roll into that first step, the 50. Roll back out to the 100. Yeah, you don't even need much. You're no. getting it done on, on slow flight with that. Again, mm -hmm. full flying stabs mm -hmm. and a really great feature uh, in a way of hiding the, yeah. the elevator. Point that out for them. So if you look back down over here, you can see that the servo and the arm that control it are completely buried underneath this this uh, plastic film sheet there and what a nice clean look to add to the jet you know? yeah and you just foam tack so if you ever have yep. to get access to it you could just peel it off glue yeah. that plastic bit back but just a nice 
you know, complimentary piece to what is a gorgeous model. You do have lights, mm -hmm. so we do have strobe on top, mm -hmm. and I believe you got just, your left and your port and your yeah. Uh, carbon. Mm -hmm. So coming in, you know, in the late night flights, maybe you give you mm -hmm. a little, a little. Uh, you'll see those pop out. I'm sure some guys will add the uh, the LED to the back for the burner. Yeah, yeah, the center <laughs> burners are. I think it's almost status quo now yeah. with, with guys flying these they're going to add those center burners mm -hmm. but I think guys that about says it again 130 amp ESC inside and you'll be running this on at least a 5006s but you can no doubt uh, take that to the limits with other brands that make you know larger higher milliamp capacity uh, lipos but that's enough for the talking here so let's get some flying done rip Patrick it. rip it up <laughs> All right, Patrick, flight number one. We yes. got the standard Admiral 5000 6S in there. You got it. And a good uh, little crosswind now. <laughs> and a good little crosswind, because of course. Because of course. Why would it be perfect? We've been flying this thing all morning, and now we're going to do the flight review for you guys. All right, so you Patrick, ready? Patrick, whenever you're ready, sir. All right, let's do it. I'm going to take off right to left. Taking off right left. All right, easing the power in. She tracks nice and straight with those two double wheels in the front. Look at that. Gorgeous climb out. Got the gear coming up. I'm at high rates. And the flaps are coming up now. We'll give her a high speed pass right to left, what do you think? Perfect. Coming down the runway, power's coming in. Go vertical at the end. Give her a little pretty blue angel roll. Look That's that. what dreams are made of. <laughs> Drop it back down. And let's give her some more speed. And into the loop. This thing's just got power, man. Yeah. It's got the same that same setup that was on the F4. And really? it's a lighter aircraft, so. That's what we hope to see. It, it flies more like an 80, like it's just got tons of push. Speaking of push, wind is coming to give us some. <laughs> <laughs> Come to get some wind. Let's go back into a Q&A. Roll it over. Let's reverse that Q&A. Go vertical first, roll it over, and down she comes. Pull. Get a little power in, show her the belly. Nice. A little tuck under turn. Let's bring it back for another high speed pass, maybe turn and burn in the trees. What do you sure, think? love it. One of our favorite moves at the CCRC. <laughs> get it low, get it fast, and then get it tight. <laughs> Stand it up and roll it over. This jet really lends itself for nice aerobatics. Yeah, and you always like the C model anyway. Oh man, Alpha got me excited with this jet. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here, what can we do for you here? Maybe another uh, little roll? Sure. Need slow flight too. On yeah, the path. yeah, we can do that. Let's get into some slow flight here. Yeah. Get it nice that. and slow, pick the nose up, add the power. There she is, just hanging. Look at her just hanging. Push it. And empower herself out of that. Isn't that crazy? Love it. They just get better and better. They do. Like with every, you know, <laughs> every iteration, man. Alpha, you were doing awesome. You learned from the last one. Let's do a little vertical to the midfield. Get some power. And vertical up she goes. Ooh, look at that. Wow. <laughs> Almost lost me. Oh man. This jet is just fun. Now I've got to set on three minutes of useful throttle time, just like most of the other 90s now. And she just called out one minute. So I'm going to give us a dirty roll pass. I throw the gear out. I'm going to leave the flaps up, get her nice and slow, power in, vertical up, and then roll it over, just like the Blue Angels do. Nice, nice dirty roll. I don't even know what to say. She just sounds so nice. I don't she want to does. say anything. In fact, we'll give one more pass just listening to it, we think. Yeah. We always get yelled at for talking, so I'll shut up now. Nice. Beautiful. <laughs> 
Beautiful. Let's set ourselves up for a gear pass. Sure. So I'm going to go 50 flaps to start to slow the airplane down. And as I get up on to initial, I'll get my gear out, flick the gear, and out they come. Now, yeah. what are you looking for when you're landing? Just give some people help. So, with a jet, you really want to have that high alpha stance. So, in a landing approach with a jet, you're really looking for the jet to be flat and in a descent. So, its nose pointing straight forward but descending. So, what I typically do is I pull the power out, get the airplane slow, and I add just a touch power back in. And I let the airplane settle. See how the nose is pointing straight ahead and it's sinking down? And then I go idle throttle, a little flare, just like that. Beautiful. And then I'll do a little arrow braking with the uh, <laughs> elevators uh, pointed up on the end there. Love and should it. just roll it out to the end. Let's that taxi nice. back. When we stay true, we'll do a. We'll bring it back. Keep the cameras rolling yeah. so you guys can see that. Yeah. We're giving you real, true battery life on that flight. Now I went just over the uh, three minutes of use of throttle time. I look at almost a five minute based on my camera. Oh wow. Like you're almost in the air for five minutes. Wow. Man. Okay. Almost. Maybe. We'll see when we put the uh, graphics on the screen. Yeah. All right. Let's taxi it in. All right. I'll put mine down now. There she is. I promised myself I brought the... Uh... <laughs> Where's the flight checker, James? Did I really not bring it? James. <laughs> All right, cut. we need to grab the flight checker again. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the canopy. No cut, no and cut. And you guys can see no where the battery is sitting inside the tray. I've got the 5000 at the midpoint of those two connections in the wood there. Um, now, I do also use the reference of the front yellow line here, but I don't know if I would recommend that because those may change Yeah, per model. those are getting put on by yeah, somebody by, at, by hand. at the factory, so that could be a little, yeah. you know, off each time. Yeah. I wouldn't so definitely I, go off of that. I would use the little uh, connection in the wood piece back there. All right, so we're going to unplug our battery and pull it out. She can there sit down, and let's see what we got here. Let's see it. I'll turn it towards you out. There you go. There you go. 3.73. 3. That's perfect. That was a perfect flight. Storage charge pack, maybe a little less. Mm -hmm. But uh, more than comfortable with enough juice to possibly have gone around if you had to. Absolutely. If you had a bad, that's where you want to be because mm -hmm. if you have that, that, bad, initial, <laughs> that bad initial approach, um, then you'd be in trouble. I say, let's do one more pack. We probably won't show that full flight because that was pretty awesome. I mm -hmm. think Patrick demonstrated there, but I say let's take off from grass yes. okay, and then great. have you put it down on grass. Cool. Let's do it. So flight number two, guys, still on the 5000. New, fresh 5000 Admiral 6S. And we're going to do a grass takeoff, and then he's just going to play with some slow speed, maybe a touch and go, and then we'll put her down on the grass and wrap this video up. So All Patrick, right. whenever you're ready. OK, taking off right, left. Here we go. There's the power. There she comes. Nice. Up and easy. And that grass is not smooth. Like no. We no. cut it, but there's a lot of bumps there. Ant hills and lots of ant hills. <laughs> lots of ant hills on this field. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do touch and go right to left. Obviously. Make sure I'm clear there. Now with a touch and go again, you're inherently wanting to just land, but keeping power in. That's right. A little Get touch of power. Oh, nice crosswind as I do it. Out of that one. <laughs> nice crosswind out of that. <laughs> <laughs> crosswind. Was that coming out of the north? Yep, coming out of the north, pushing us in there. So I needed a little bit of right aileron and a little bit of left rudder to keep me going down the runway. But with these jets, they like the speed to do that. Let's try that again. That's right, a little bit of power just to follow myself all the way down. A little flare. Oh, there it is, power. Woo! Up she goes. <laughs> I was wow. milking that one. That was milking. I think that's harder than a touch and go. Here we go. This might be your next limbo plane. That's right. <laughs> Let's do a slow pass. We'll keep it dirty, and we'll just keep it nice and slow as we come by. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, you've been showing us all morning that it's capable of speed, yeah, but she's but also can capable of definitely fly it around nice and slow. And Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Just nose in the air, cruising. I think you know, guys maidening, that's where you'd stay. Yeah. So, you, you know, don't go too don't go too crazy, keep the gear down, work on approaches. 
Absolutely. But she has more than enough oomph to get you out of sticky mm -hmm. situations. Mm -hmm. Which sometimes is tougher on, on big 90 mils. Yeah, this one doesn't have the weight that like some of the older ones do. Another nice slow pass here. Look at that, just cruising. And then you just punch it and off she goes. Look at that, I can punch it, climb up and out, no problems. In fact, I can go fly formation with this other airplane up here. <laughs> <laughs> Flex 3D plane? It uh, looks like yeah. it. Let's see if we can get another touch and go out of it. What do you think? Sure. And I'm using 50 flaps of these touch and go, so I'm carrying a little more speed just so I don't lose it on the go. There, yeah. is. there she is. A nice smooth touch and go, right down the center. Nailed it. perfect day to see it. We notice that, you know, on a cloudy day, that dark mm -hmm. blue, guys, you mm -hmm. know, it'll definitely silhouette on you. Mm -hmm. But I got a one minute call. Blue so Angels is worth it. I'm going to give you a nice slow roll here. We'll go into it, give you up the vertical, dirty roll. Look at that. Nice. <laughs> and now we're going to try to put her down in the grass? Yeah, let's put her down in the grass. Landing right, left. All right, here we go. Landing right, left in the grass. And adding that power back in to arrest that sink rate. Just flare it out, flare it out. There she is, look at that. Nice Perfect. and easy. Man, she handles the grass well. Yeah, always, always nicer for those shorter rollouts yeah. when you come down on the grass. Yeah, it's like the artificial brakes. So you taxi your back, Patrick, and yeah. I think we're gonna wrap this video up, guys. So there you have it, the brand new F-18C in the Blue Angel Scheme 90 millimeter EDF. So. Guys, Patrick, yes. again, thank you so much. Enjoy it. For flying it for us, and we'll see you for the next flight review. See you.